Hi, welcome back everyone. Today I will be reading the story called Little D and the Big Bully by Carl Philpotts. Now, just before we get into the story, I just want to share with you, I've started a new channel on YouTube. It's called Lived Immigration and it's about trends, issues, processes pertaining to Canadian immigration. So if that is something that interests you, please go over and have a look. Like, share, leave me a comment and subscribe. Thank you so much. Now to the story. Little D and the Big Bully. There was a school in town called Wisdom School. Boys and girls went to this school. There were many big strong boys there. These boys liked to play marbles, but the big strong boys would beat up the little boys and take away their marbles. They did this even if the little boys had won the game. The small boys were afraid of them. They would only cry and be very sad. They were even afraid to tell the teacher. The teacher did not like them to play and take each other's marbles. Only one wise little boy was not afraid of the big boys. His name was Little D. Little D was not afraid of anything. He came from a street called Bravo Street. His family was very poor. Little D's family had to work very hard to send him to wisdom school. Little D had no water pipes in his home. He had to wake very early in the morning to catch water at the pipe on the street. After catching water at the pipe, Little D had to carry out Ram Ram, his father's big goat, to eat grass. This was the hardest job of all. Ram Ram was bigger than Little D, so Little D had to be strong. He had to pull Ram Ram, but the goat often pulled him. Little D soon found an easy way to pull the strong goat. When Ram Ram pulled, Little D did not try to stop him. He just let the goat pull. Then suddenly, he would run past Ram Ram and pull him the way he was pulling. He learned to use Ram Ram's own strength to pull him. Little D was very sad when he saw the big boys bully the smaller and weaker boys at Wisdom School. I will teach the big bullies something, thought Little D. Little D went to the shop and bought some marbles. I am going to take these and beat those big bullies, said Little D to his friend Beanie. I know you are the best marble player, Little D, said Beanie, but to play those boys, you must be mad. I think that a wise boy can beat a strong boy, Beanie, replied Little D, and tell all the girls and boys that after school, I will play big boy, the big bully, Little D added. So Beanie ran off to tell all the boys and girls, you must all come to watch Little D play big boy after school, Beanie shouted. Big boy was the marble champion and one of the bullies in the school. All the boys were afraid of him. The children could not wait for the school to be over. They wanted to be at the game. Nearly all the children in the school were there. All the big boys were there and all the small boys were there. They had all come to see Little D play big boy. They had also come to see what would happen if Little D won. The game did not last for long. Big boy could not play as well as Little D. He soon lost all his marbles. All the girls and small boys clapped their hands and shouted, Hooray! Little D has won. Hooray! Little D is the new marble champion of Wisdom School. Big Boy had lost the game, but everyone was now waiting for the real game to begin. Little D, the new champion, was laughing and talking to his friends. He went on as if he did not know Big Boy was mad at him. Soon Big Boy walked over to Little D. You cheated me, Little D, he said, with a mean look on his face. Now it is my chance to make your friends laugh at you. I will show them I am better than you. You cannot cheat me in this game. Little D stood quietly. All of his friends were afraid. 
They were afraid of what would happen to Little D. Beanie began to shake in his pants. Big Boy got a long rope. Let us play a game of tug of war, Little D, said Big Boy. He picked up a long rope. I will show you that I am the strongest boy in the school. Beanie spoke to his friends quietly. But everyone knows Big Boy, the bully, is strong. Why is he doing this to Little D? It is a pity he had to choose a game like tug of war. Little D did not cheat him. Oh, poor Little D. The game of tug of war began. Big Boy began to pull Little D, but Little D just let him pull. All of Big Boy's friends started laughing, but they did not know what Little D had in his mind. They did not know that Little D was strong and wise and that Little D could pull a ram goat bigger than himself. So this was nothing new for Little D. He just waited for his chance. He waited until Big Boy began to laugh. Then suddenly, Little D held on with all his strength. Big Boy was now getting weaker and weaker because he had laughed too much. Big Boy pulled, but Little D did not move. He held on tight and put his right foot forward. Then Big Boy got mad and made one big pull. This was the chance Little D was waiting for. Big Boy thought Little D would try to hold back, but Little D was too wise. He knew that he could pull Ram Ram by using Ram Ram's own strength. Tug of war was not new to Little D. As Big Boy pulled with all his strength, Little D suddenly ran past him. As Little D ran past, he used Big Boy's pull and made one big pull of his own. Big Boy did not know Little D would do this. Big Boy's great pull added to Little D's pull suddenly sent Big Boy sailing through the air. He fell on the other Big Boys and they all dropped to the ground. Big Boy was so frightened that he just stayed there. Here are your marbles, Big Boy, said Little D. You have lost, but I do not want to take your marbles. I will give you a chance. I only wanted to teach you not to use your strength to bully others that are smaller and weaker than you are. All the girls began to clap their hands and laugh. Hooray, they shouted. Hooray for Little D, our champion of tug of war. The small boys picked up their little champion and carried him through the yard. Now the bullies of Wisdom School would have to stop and think before they troubled the weaker and smaller boys again. The end. Yeah, another great story. And of course, we know May is Child's Month. It's important that we teach our children that they should stand up for each other and not to bully each other. So this was a great lesson in this story. I really liked it and I hope you did too. If you did, please remember to click the thumbs up button, share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you're the first to see when I post new stories. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.